welcome back to another episode of Femboy Fishing. So today we're at uh, another one of the creeks. I really like to fish. I apologize if the wind becomes a little bit of an issue for this episode. There's not really anything I can do, so I apologize if the wind makes a lot of noise. For this episode, we're going to be doing a catch and cook. I want to do another bluegill catch and cook, but I kind of had an idea of doing like fish and chips. Like I bought some wedge fries and uh I'm hoping if we can maybe catch a couple decent sized bluegills, we can fillet them and uh, bread them up and make some tasty fish and chips. So if you guys are wondering why I didn't bring Russer today, it's because of all of these weeds along the bank. In fact, while I was walking here, kind of got a bunch of weed stuff covered on me. There's a lot of really nasty like burr plants and things that grow on the sides here. And if I were to bring Russer with me, he would just be a magnet and he would pick up all these different burrs. So unfortunately we can't have Russer with us today. This is one of the best bluegill spots in my area. There's a lot of really big bluegill schools that hang out right here because this is really close to where this creek meets up with the lake over there. So I'm gonna start by using this stone fly. And basically what we do is, there's a big kind of drop off right here down into the pool. So I drop that stone fly in. And to them, it looks like a bug that basically just fell into the water. Um, and then they might come up and grab it. I'm just gonna kind of jig this bug up and down into this pool. Hopefully we'll get some bluegills from this. A bit too small for us to eat them. Let's see if we can maybe get a bigger one. There we go. Uh, I don't know. He's just barely big enough to keep. I don't know. Um, I'm probably going to regret doing this, but let's release him. If I was cooking them like I know how I normally do, I wouldn't worry about it so much, but because I'm filleting these guys and turning them into fish and chips, I mean, that's like half a chicken nugget worth of meat. So I'll let them go free. See you later, buddy. There's bigger ones down there. I've seen them swimming around. So let's just try to see if maybe we can get them. There we go. That's a better size bluegill. Uh, yeah, he's just slightly bigger than the last one. I'll keep him. He's a bit meatier. He'll make a nice two fillets. So I've got the stringer set up down there. I just put that bluegill out. So that'll be our first one. I noticed there was a bunch of really big ones hiding like just down right below us. There's like a bunch of little underwater caves they're kind of hiding in. And when you drop this stone fly in front of them, they kind of just pop out at it. So uh, if we can get maybe five or six bluegills around the size of the one we just did, we should have a pretty nice meal. So it'd be really nice if this wind wasn't here right now. That's a good size one. Oh, that's a very good size bluegill. There we go. Now that right there is what we're after. A nice five, six inch bluegill. Really good size, perfect size for eating. So we'll throw this guy on the stringer real quick. There we go. Oh, that's, that's a very nice one. Look at the size of this one. That is a nice eating bluegill. He's really fat too, really meaty. Perfect. So we have our bluegills here. We've got three decent sized ones. I think they kind of figured out that we're catching and eating them. So I think we're gonna move a little bit upstream, maybe over to like that next pocket or somewhere over there and maybe see if there's any bluegills hanging out up there. You guys see all those bluegills sitting in there? I think they're coming over here to investigate what we're doing. They see us holding up our, uh, our catches here. Oh, and that just spooked them. There's a fish. Oh, buddy, you are way too small. You are a baby. Look at this guy. Little buddy, you're a bit too, you're way too small to eat. You're like a French fry. Be free. Surprised they're still biting when I'm this close to them. I mean, bluegills aren't exactly the smartest of fish, but still, they're usually smart enough that if we're this close to them in shallow water, they're normally not going to want to grab it, but here's one. Oh. That's why you're putting up such a fight. I hooked you by the tail. I'm sorry, buddy. I tail hooked this poor guy. I don't mean to do that. Be free. There you 
go, little dude. Sorry about that. See you later. He's a bit on the small side again. I don't know. It's hard to say. He's just barely big enough. I'll let him go. I'd almost rather have ones that are definitely big enough rather than ones that are just slightly not big enough. Thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. See you later. That's kind of what happens is you, uh, you catch a few bluegills, maybe a couple nice sized ones out of an area they're all holding. And then after a while, they start to figure out what you're doing and then they stop biting. There's still some in there. It's just, they're all mostly smaller. Let's move down to one more pool. And then um, I imagine by then we should probably have enough to eat. We already have four, which is pretty good. But if I can get maybe one or two more, I think that'd be perfect. Okay, so I put on a heavier stonefly. I noticed that smaller stonefly was getting us mostly smaller bluegills. And I think this might be able to attract some of the bigger ones. It's also heavier, so it sinks deeper faster. So I don't have to sit here and wait for it to get to the bottom. There we go. That's a, oh, that's a freaking smallmouth. Oh crap. Uh, it's not that big of a smallmouth, but uh, this is not the kind of fish we can eat. This is not the species of fish that I wanted to eat. It is my favorite species of fish, actually. I love catching these guys, but I refuse to eat smallmouth simply just because they take so long to get big and they don't reproduce in high numbers like bluegills do. Also, I've eaten a smallie once in the past and they do not taste very good. We'll just let this guy go free. Still, really cool, unexpected catch. Thanks for letting me catch a little smallmouth. I'll see you later. I keep forgetting that happens sometimes. Sometimes smallies will take stoneflies like that. So, I don't know. Let's see if we can catch something that we can actually eat. It's another freaking smallmouth. So once again, we have another smallmouth, around the same size as the last one. I mean, I guess I won't complain about catching smallies. They are my favorite fish, but thanks for letting me catch a little smallmouth. I'll see you later. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's a good size bluegill. He's about the same size as my hand. All right, this is our final fish. So we've got five fish now. Let's go take this guy back, put him on a stringer, and then we'll head back to uh, where I parked and we'll make some fish and chips. So I just finished filleting our bluegills. This is what we got from those five bluegills. It's not a lot, but I think it'll be enough for a meal, especially with our, uh, with our french fries too. So uh, let's go ahead and start cooking this up. Okay, it's definitely hot. So let's uh, put a few more in then. Get some chips going in there. While our fries cook up, it probably wouldn't hurt for us to get the fish ready. So I've got this uh, fish batter that I bought at the store here for fish fries. So we're gonna go ahead and put our bluegill fillets in there and get them nice and coated in it. Gonna put a little salt on there. Here's our fries. Now we get to cook the fish. So uh, this fish that we have in here, they're not very big. So I'm probably not gonna be able to keep them in there for very long, but that's not a bad thing. There we go. There's our fish and chips. Let's uh, put this on a on a little bit better of a plate and let's uh, let's dig in. All right, so here's what we have here. We have our chips, we have our fish, and of course my cream soda. This isn't the same brand of cream soda I normally get, but I don't care. It's all I could find at the supermarket, so I think that looks pretty good. It's so crazy to think that this fish right here was swimming like in the water like an hour ago, just up there, like just around that bend. And now it's on our plate as a tasty fish and chips meal. Oh my goodness, I am tired. What do you guys think of that? 
You know, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um, the past few catch and cooks that we've done, I've, I've liked what we've made. Like I thought the fish tasted good and I thought I cooked it okay for the most part, but I didn't enjoy it as much as I would like, you know, I didn't enjoy it that, that much. I don't know, there's something that comes with like getting a food at an actual restaurant or even like preparing it yourself at home that it just always tastes like 10 times better than if you were to just cook it next to the bank. But I have a soft spot for fish and chips. I freaking love fish and chips. And uh, I don't know, I feel like that looks as good as something I would make at home. Anyway. Mm. Oh, come on. I don't remember shaking this thing. Okay, um, my fries are going to be slightly cream soda flavored. Yeah, it's fine. All right, let's try some of this bluegill. Oh my god. You know, it is kind of a pain in the butt to fillet bluegill. In fact, that's kind of the reason why I don't normally cook them this way. is because getting these pieces of meat off of them is such a pain because they're so small. But if you can do it, it is well worth it. In all honesty, this might be one of my favorite catch and cooks we've done so far. It's just really good. It's really, really good. Like, it's not just sort of good. It's, like, really, really good. Like, this is better than, like, Captain D's and crap like that. Which, using Captain D's as an example probably isn't the best. Um, for you know, those of you that don't know what Captain D's is, I live outside of the States. It's, like, a seafood, fast food chain. And they have, like, hush puppies and cod and, like, typical seafood stuff. But they've got fish and chips, too. It's kind of the place I would normally get it. This is like actual fish and chips. This is like Missouri fish and chips. Because these are Missouri fish. The, the, this, this was a fish. Like an hour ago. An hour and a half ago. This was on a fish swimming in this river behind us. I don't know. It's just... It's cool though. It's cool. Oh yeah. I forgot. I was too busy eating. I wasn't paying attention to... um. To you guys i'm sorry as always be sure to uh leave any comments or any suggestions anything you might want to say thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all later Bye.